From top quality steaks, to employee benefits, to local ingredients, there's a reason you might experience some sticker shock at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Keep watching to learn exactly why that is. Part of what makes the steaks at Ruth's Chris high quality and therefore expensive is how they are handled. For one, the steaks never see the inside of a freezer. And for two, they undergo an aging process that enhances their flavor. Wet aging involves refrigerating meat in a tightly sealed bag until it's time to cook it. While the steak is sitting in its own juices, the enzymes inside the flesh break down the meat, making it tender and juicy. This is worth it for the killer steak you get in the end, but it'll require some patience to get there. Depending on the cut, Ruth's Chris ages its steaks from 14 to 28 days. Technically, wet aging is cheaper than its alternative. Since less moisture is lost, there's a higher quantity of meat to sell. That's why Ruth's Chris switched from dry aging to wet aging in the first place. However, the process still requires time and fridge space. Time is money, as the age-old saying goes, so aging the steaks contributes to Ruth's high prices. Besides the signature pat of butter, one thing is guaranteed for a Ruth's Chris steak. It's not going to come from the grocery store. In fact, the upscale steakhouse with the deceptively difficult name Ruth's Chris Steakhouse <laughs> takes pride in selecting the finest cuts for its establishments. The restaurant consistently delivers first-rate chops no matter the location. According to the Ruth's Chris website, the beef is certified prime by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and is sourced from cattle ranches across the Midwest. What constitutes prime? Under 2% of all U.S. beef meets the stringent standards for a prime designation. The animals are typically young and fed a specialized diet, which results in a better tasting steak. The meat is also distinct in terms of look and texture. Prime beef displays visible webs of fat and has a tender consistency, factors that both lend themselves well to grilling. Lower grade selections, like choice or select, just can't compare. It's clear that meat production is a costly venture, and Ruth's Chris hands-on approach to selecting high-quality beef requires work. The bill at the end of your meal factors in the labor taken to source, purchase, prepare, and serve any steak you order from the restaurant. We know by now that Ruth's Chris doesn't skimp on quality when it comes to its main attraction, the meat. So how does the rest of the menu stack up? As it turns out, the Chop House doesn't pinch pennies on the sides either. In an Ask Me Anything on Reddit, a self-proclaimed Ruth's Chris employee revealed that all the desserts were crafted on-site and by hand. Meanwhile, the mashed potatoes are put through a potato ricer and mixed with butter and milk, resulting in pillowy spuds that are light as air. Compared to the frozen sweets shipped in bulk by restaurant suppliers, a freshly baked cheesecake will always cost more. In addition to the time and labor put into preparation, there's the matter of raw ingredients, which can spoil and waste a restaurant's money. Refed reports that about $25 billion in waste is created by restaurants annually. Ruth's Chris commitment to house-made sweets and sides raises its costs, which in turn means you have to pay more. There's no doubt that receiving the bill for a dinner for four at Ruth's Chris can be a rather emotional experience. I haven't cried like that since Titanic. <laughs> when visiting a fancier establishment, it's nice to get some bang for your buck. It may be tempting to avert your eyes from the sweat-inducing dollar signs looking back at you from the menu at Ruth's Chris. There is a notable trade-off to paying more, and that's the portion size. Simply put, the portions are huge. A meal at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse might set you back a day's wages, but you'll get pounds of delicious meat in return. One thing to keep in mind at Ruth's Chris is that many of the entrees are intended for sharing. Real Menu Prices lists a porterhouse steak for two at around $92. That amount of money could theoretically cover dinner for four at Outback, tax and bloomin' onion included. However, that's leaving out the fact that the Ruth's Chris steak is a 40-ounce piece of meat and is literally intended to be eaten by two people, as the name suggests. 
splitting one lands at about $46 per person, which isn't bad, considering a 22-ounce porterhouse steak at Outback goes for around $37. Steak is expensive, but for the amount of meat you get, the prices at Ruth's Chris aren't outrageous. According to the Washington Post, it's more expensive to buy produce from the farmer's market than from the grocery store due to the cost-efficient perks industrialized farms benefit from, such as large-scale equipment for growing food in bulk. They can charge less for food than smaller farms are able to. For this reason, seasonal or local ingredients merit a significantly higher price point than their industrial-produced equivalents. It's true the meat-centric menu at Ruth's Chris hasn't changed much in the last 50 years. Steak and potatoes seems to hold an enduring appeal. What has changed is consumers' tastes for regional, locally sourced meals. Maui Restaurants Blog praised a location in Kihei, Hawaii for serving locally sourced vegetables from the Kulu region, and a Ruth's Chris location in Asheville, North Carolina sought to incorporate area businesses like bakeries and coffee roasters into its menu. Sourcing food from local producers is a good move for the steakhouse, but it contributes to the hefty dollar amounts on the menu. Let's face it, your typical backyard grill just can't compete with a steakhouse broiler. That's because the grill masters at Ruth's Chris use state-of-the-art equipment to sear, roast, and sizzle every cut of meat that comes through its kitchen. The steakhouse famously uses infrared broilers to give its steaks a beautifully seared exterior. Per Dine magazine, Ruth Fertel had a background in chemistry and physics and designed the first broilers herself using her book smarts to perfect an 1,800-degree broiler that precisely seared her steaks. Today, restaurant supplier The Montague Company lists Ruth's Chris as a client. A Montague C45S broiler, which is the model allegedly used by the chain, goes for over $16,000 on kitchen restock. That's a staggering amount. But investing in quality kitchenware adds to the price of the food at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Ruth's Chris takes care of its employees. A list of benefits shows staff members can receive health insurance, vacation, retirement, and disability. Additionally, employees can access extensive training programs, including leadership development and opportunities for job growth within the company. Offering these benefits might be expensive, yet in the case of Ruth's Chris, it's an investment that only grows over time. In 2019, Ruth's Hospitality Group CEO, Cheryl Henry, recalled a story involving a young cook who worked at the steakhouse back when Ruth Fertel was in charge. The employee was experiencing a rough time at home, and as a way of helping him to regroup, Fertel extended him some grace by giving him a week-long paid vacation. The result? He prospered in the company, working his way up to the top spot in the chain's culinary operations department. For Ruth's Chris, retaining employees for the long haul is a worthy investment, and you're paying for that as a customer. One of the key reasons why Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is so expensive is obvious. You're paying for the experience. Think about what you're looking for when you visit a fancy restaurant. It's not just the convenience of having food prepared for you, though that's certainly a major part of it. It's also the high standards practiced by the establishment. Is the dress code formal? Is the dining room clean and attractive? Are the servers properly attired, friendly, and professional? Throw in the leather-bound menus and wine recommendations, and it's clear that the ambiance offered by a steakhouse is special. High-end steakhouses also make impressive backdrops for business deals. As one Reddit user who's worked at Ruth's Chris put it, it's known for being a high-end steakhouse. Therefore, a lot of companies go there and throw around their money. Perhaps you could grill your own porterhouse at home. You could even sizzle some butter in the pan for kicks and pour some Merlot to make yourself feel fancy. But you would need to do the work yourself in preparing the meal, from grilling and seasoning the meats to crafting the side dishes and dessert. At Ruth's Chris, you're paying for the luxury of having other people do all that work for you. Per the National Restaurant Association, restaurants contribute $3 billion annually towards charitable causes. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is no stranger to philanthropy. Over the years, the restaurant has poured thousands of dollars into combating social issues throughout the local community. 
they have contributed to nonprofits targeting hunger, child abuse, and societal neglect. Atlanta area locations support the Giving Kitchen, donating $50,000 between workers and the restaurant itself. Ruth's Chris also offers donation matching on gift cards. According to the company, customers who purchase a gift card of at least $25 to use for a charitable event at the restaurant will have the value matched by Ruth's Chris. The maximum for this offer is $250. No numerical cost could ever convey the value of helping others. That doesn't mean it's not a business expense, however, and anything that costs the business money will ultimately affect prices for consumers. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse justifies its high price because it's a steakhouse. A really nice steakhouse at that. Keep in mind that in addition to the overhead costs any restaurant needs to consider, Ruth's Chris specializes in a pricey product that drives up the cost of doing business. Most restaurants try to keep their ingredient budget at around 30% of what they charge diners for finished dishes. Because beef and seafood are so expensive, steakhouses often spend closer to 40%. So, they actually make a lower profit margin on their food than other restaurants do. Steakhouses like Ruth's Chris also rely on culinary expertise and ambiance to draw guests through their doors. When you buy a meal at Ruth's Chris, you're not just paying for the steaks. You're also paying for skilled chefs to cook them, wait staff to serve them, and the elegant surroundings that complement the whole package. Customers will foot the bill so long as they receive the upscale service they've been promised. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.